Pa, pa, pa. Yo, what's good, everybody? Pa. So my my name is Zachariah Tippett. Pa. And uh, most people just call me Tourette's. Pa. And I have Tourette's syndrome. Pa. I'm a stand-up comedian here from the state of Texas. Pa. And I spread and educate to humans about Tourette's syndrome. Pa. With a little bit of comedy. Pa. I, uh... Pa. I started answering questions, y'all's questions, uh, a few months ago. So if y'all have any questions, uh, write them down, email me. Uh, I don't mind what they are. Uh, PG to, you know, rated R, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter to me. Uh, just please keep them to me if you're interested in, <laughs> if you're interested in asking them questions, don't go up to anybody random. And just ask them these things, but I don't mind. I, I'm pretty open about my Tourette syndrome, so let's let's dive into the question of the day here. All right, let's see if we can see that question with this carpenter hat by Easy Home. When you tick, is your body also trying to stop it from happening? Is that why the movements in a tick seem kind of jerky? That's an interesting question. So. I think on that part, now this is just my opinion, uh, I'm not going into no medical books or anything, you know, but when I try to hold something like a glass of water or something like that, as you can see, my hand does like a motion on its own course, like my fingers go all over the place, but over time, you do kind of, uh, it's repetitive, it's not, I think that's the right word, it's repetitive tits. So I know my hand is going to try and fling it backwards, but it's just kind of estimating and getting ahead of it. So let's say I'm holding a glass of water and I do this. Instead of uh, trying to do that with a glass of water, I'll try to like squeeze the glass, not to break it. I've done that before. <laughs> um, or like try to like maybe wiggle it a bit instead of just fully on yeet, yeeting it. <coughs> um... It, I don't want to say it's like manipulation, but it's it's more of trying to get ahead of it because, you know, I, I, I'm 27, so I've been doing tits for, or I've been, I, I've had tits in my hands at least 10 years now. My face ones are kind of new and the flick off ones are kind of new, but after doing them for so long, you kind of, you kind of start to understand of the repetitiveness and how much time ahead of time if you pick something up, for instance, like that glass, uh, before it self-destructs and yeeting itself. That's a great question. I appreciate y'all.